Both HLA class 1 and class 2 molecules are synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum and then passed to Golgi apparatus. However, source of peptides they present and process of peptide loading is different in these molecules. HLA class 1 molecules present peptides derived from protein that are present in cytoplasm of cell. These proteins can be derived from viruses, other intracellular pathogens, abnormal proteins or even normal proteins that are not in use. These proteins are first tagged with a molecule called ubiquitin. Then these proteins pass through proteasome. Proteasomes have proteolytic enzymes that break down these proteins to smaller peptides. Some of these peptides pass to endoplasmic reticulum for assessment by cells of immune system. These peptides pass to endoplasmic reticulum through a molecule called TAP. TAP is a part of seven molecules that form peptide loading complex. Molecules of this complex help to stabilize HLA class 1 molecules and also help in translocation and loading of peptide on these molecules. HLA class 1 molecules are synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum and then a peptide is loaded on these molecules from where these molecules pass to Golgi apparatus and from Golgi apparatus they are passed to cell surface in vesicles. Finally, HLA class 1 molecules are presented on cell surface with peptides derived from intracellular proteins where they are recognized by CD8 T cells. In contrast to HLA class 1 molecules, HLA class 2 molecules present peptides derived from extracellular source. Antigen presenting cells first ingest pathogens and other particles from extracellular environment. Proteins derived from these sources are then broken down to smaller peptides and then presented on HLA class 2 molecules. As HLA class 2 molecules are synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum, so first these molecules have to reach endosomes to come across these peptides. As antigen presenting cells are also nucleated cells, so they will have both HLA class 1 and class 2 molecules in endoplasmic reticulum. So potentially peptides that usually bind to HLA class 1 molecules can also bind to HLA class 2 molecules. To prevent this from happening, peptide binding site of HLA class 2 molecules is covered by a protein molecule called invariant chain. This molecule also stabilizes HLA class 2 molecules. From endoplasmic reticulum, HLA class 2 molecules with invariant chain are transferred to Golgi apparatus and then they reach to endosomes. In endosome, acidic environment and proteolytic enzymes degrade part of invariant chain and remaining part is called clip. CLIP still covers the peptide binding site of HLA class 2 molecules. CLIP is displaced from its position by another molecule called HLA-DM. HLA-DM also helps in peptide loading on HLA class 2 molecules. From endosome, HLA class 2 molecules with accompanying peptides are transferred to cell surface in vesicles, where they are assessed by CD4 T cells. We have seen that HLA class 2 molecules present peptides from extracellular source on HLA class 2 molecules to CD4 T cells. However, dendritic cells can also present these peptides on HLA class 1 molecules to CD8 T cells. This process is called cross presentation. CD8 T cells usually result in lysis of cell presenting antigens on HLA class 1 molecules. However, this interaction with dendritic cells result in activation and proliferation of CD8 T cells. Resulting T cells then contribute to cytotoxic component of immune response. There are two possible ways by which peptides derived from extracellular source come across HLA class 1 molecules. 
one possibility is that HLA plus one molecules bind these peptides in endosome. Second possibility is that these peptides first enter endoplasmic reticulum where they come across and bind HLA plus one molecules. 